So for this path on 7.2.1, as you can see from that little information on the screen there, zero revives used using basically Captain Marvel movie and Ghost. A lot of people don't seem to have mentioned how good Captain Marvel movie will be for this node. The main thing you've got to remember, which is what I really don't do here, is that ideally you need to be dropping a heavy attack to be able to clear them debuffs. So I think it's in a couple of minutes after the indestructible runs out, you can see here, I'm taking a lot of damage from the incinerates. Whereas as soon as, I think it's when I get to about 45%, I think I drop a heavy attack and they clear, yeah. So there, that's when I realise what I need to be doing for the rest of the path. Of all these fights having the stun vulnerability on there as well, it means that when you drop the parry to do a heavy attack with Captain Marvel movie, she actually do a lot of damage and because of the incinerates that you're putting on yourself and the cold snap it'll pretty much constantly keep her as close to binary as possible so keep doing your heavy attacks when you're in binary uh, to keep yourself topped up and then yeah it should be fine professor x is a little bit more difficult you've got to be wary of his attacks so treat him like you would a yondu let him dash into you with a medium attack then parry and just answer it with that So on this fight here, I'm going to use Ghost rather than Captain Marvel movie just because Scarlet Witch is a mystic champion, which means any contact to Captain Marvel movie will give you the energy damage that you'll have to take. And Ghost just makes it a pretty simple fight overall. Strife's another champion, just like Professor X, that I'm not really a fan of trying to use Ghost on. I don't even know if you can use Ghost on them, to be honest, it's been that long since I've properly used her. Um, Cat Marvel movie here, because you're starting on the 25 binary charges, you've almost instantly got a special 2 anyway. So you can just start reeling that damage quite quickly. Nick Fiori's on the team just for the synergy with Captain Marvel to make sure that them charges last that little bit longer, just to make it a little bit easier for yourself.
as you can see here from the fights that we've been doing and then coming into Captain Marvel movie, I'm actually starting to gain health from doing this without using any items. So yeah, Captain Marvel movie is a great option for this, especially if you twig onto that, the he throwing a heavy attack earlier on than what I did. The good thing about throwing a heavy attack and knocking down Captain Marvel movie's defender is it also takes her binary charges away. So in case she's got some, normally when she's in binary, her special two becomes unblockable. But because you're throwing heavy attacks to remove the binary from the defending Captain Marvel movie, it actually means that she won't have them. So she won't actually be able to go unblockable and you can just hold the block to stop the special two damage. This final fight against Juggernaut, a little bit more difficult since his quote unquote buff a little while ago. Um, you can't parry his unstoppable anymore or else you get a stagger on you and he's still stun immune. So this is a ghost fight again because of the Mystic Champion against Captain Marvel movie. That's not a good matchup. So yeah, this one's just take your time, really try and get some Furies on you before you throw big special twos with Ghost. As you see there, that was some decent damage even without uh, suicides on. So here we're just going to wait until the unstoppable goes back again and then try and carry on Ghost in the way we were. But yeah, that's one. Of, that's the first path that I did in 7.2.1. I thought it was quite easy. No items used. Thank you, Kabam.